Hey guys, welcome back to our in-depth series on operating the Red Epic Dragon with Boston Red Rentals. Today we'll be discussing lens mounts with your Red. As most of you know, there are a plethora of different lens mounts for the Red. The most common mounts we use are the EF and PL mount. But did you know about the motion mount? A motion mount can turn the Red Epic Dragon into a global sensor. Most consumer cameras are actually stuck with rolling shutters. Rolling shutters causes moving footage to look like jello, as shown here in the example. Rolling shutter, by definition, is a method of image capture in which a still picture, in a still camera, or each frame of a video, in a video camera, is captured not by taking a snapshot of the entire scene at a single instant in time, but rather by scanning across the scene rapidly, either vertically or horizontally. In other words, not all parts of the image of the scene are recorded at exactly the same instant. This is in contrast with global shutter, in which the entire frame is captured at the same instant. The global shutter mount also includes a variable ND filter, as well as a soft and hard global shutters. So what are each of these things? The variable ND can be quite the lifesaver when filming. Let's say you want to keep your depth of field with your 1.2 lens, but with the current lighting, it's just too bright. With the variable ND built in, you're able to darken the image before hitting the sensor, thus allowing you to keep the 1.2 depth of field, but not be overexposed. A global shutter can work either by abruptly exposing and then obstructing all photo sites at once, in which case it can be thought of as a hard shutter, or as Red calls it, a square shutter, or by doing this more gradually as a soft shutter. A soft global shutter causes the middle of an exposure to contribute more than the start and the end. This causes the blur to fade gradually near a subject's edge. This makes it look smoother and more natural with camera movement. A hard shutter will allow strobes to appear uniform and unbroken, unlike with a rolling shutter. On average, we tend to use a soft global shutter more often as it pushes the limits of what is possible with motion capture. Usually, cinematographers have to choose between using a lower shutter angle and achieving sharper stills, for example, or using a higher shutter angle and achieving smoother motion. A soft global shutter can achieve both simultaneously. Ultimately, though, a soft global shutter is still not a substitute for proper camera and exposure techniques. That about does it. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date with our weekly videos.